What is One Piece, and why does it mean so much to me? It's a question that I, and I'm sure all of you as well, have been asked many, many times before. Whenever I'm asked that question, I would always pose this thought back. Can you name a single thing that has remained consistent in your life over the last 20 years? I have changed locations, moved on, discovered. I've traveled the world, shifted perspectives, been inspired. Graduated, changed careers. I've lost and I've gained. I've been fed up, broken up, and I've grown up. But there was only one thing there in my life throughout it all. A couple years ago, I was asked this question again, and little did I know it would one day lead us here to this very moment with the two people who sat on either end of this very question. I am Kirk D. Cam. And I'm Matt Scryerman. And this is Will of the Scry. Before we go into any details on the channel, I think it's best to introduce us. I am Kirk Decam, and I'll be your narrator for the live reacts portions of our videos. Obviously, I'm a longtime avid fan of the show. I'm a marketer as a profession, and I currently work on Apple services and their music arms. I specialize in tapping into the root of the audience I'm looking to reach, and of course, with great power comes great responsibility. I vow to use my powers for good and not doing anything weird or silly or malicious. In fact, I think that's where my skills are best utilized. My job is to enhance the experience for the viewers and more importantly, for Scryerman. I know what you're looking for in a react and I know the things that you loathe. I'll also be leading the analysis videos and more timely content videos as well as some of the fun, unique additions to enhance the viewing experience like listicles for Scryerman to react to throughout the show. Go check out my top 15 non-crew members I release on the discussion tab. But I think most importantly, I am just as much of a fan as you are. I love One Piece and as stated in the intro, it has been a part of my life for the last 20 years and I have been a part of it. My first tattoo ever is kanji down my spine spelling out the will of D. Maybe I'll make a video in the future explaining everything it means to me, but I think the most obvious thing is pretty face value to any fan of the show. Anyways, I love to write and storyboard. I love my job. I have a one-year-old puppy, and of course, I've been loving prepping these videos, and most important of all, I've been loving watching One Piece with my friend, Scryerman. That's me. I'm a first time viewer of this show. I've always been a big Dragon Ball fan ever since I was a kid, but the idea of a pirate made out of rubber never exactly appealed to me. I'd never been a fan of elastic or stretching powers, Fantastic Four, Mrs. Incredible. Uh, the aesthetic never appealed to me. So it took a while for me to catch on, but as soon as I hit the Arlong Park arc, man, the way Nami's backstory evoked this unreal emotional response, well, that's what drove us to start this YouTube channel. It was the moment it turned from Kirk asking me to watch episodes to me knocking down the door to keep going. But you can go and check out our first analysis video for more on that. Anyways, I'm a graphic designer and artist at heart. I like to create cool concept art and can contribute to the channel and engage with you guys through it. I also have a background in psychology and as Kirk puts it, offers a unique and introspective experience we had to share outside just the two of us. I don't really know what that means yet, but I think it has something to do with my ability to break down scenes and make filling predictions for the future, whether they be completely off track or right on the nose. Our skills make for a pretty dynamic team, and I think we'll be able to make some pretty top quality and unique content for your enjoyment. <laughs> Next up, I think it's important to explain how we got to this channel. It all started in Japan. Scryman and I decided to go on a spontaneous trip and landed there. At the time, I wasn't very familiar with One Piece, but boy, was it a culture shock. Arriving in Tokyo and seeing all sorts of merch, marketing posters, and potential spoilers dedicated to the show. We didn't want to spend too much time in Tokyo, however, opting and exploring more parts of rural Japan, you know, Kyoto, Oiso, and the likes. But it wasn't until we arrived at Hakone that there was this clear, but really exciting, evident tourist trap in the form of a pirate ship floating out in the lake. Loki totally wanted to go and ride it. 
But we had too many things on our itinerary and decided against it. Little did we know, fate had another thing to say about it. Long story short, we got completely and utterly lost. Unable to speak Japanese or read maps like the millennials that we are, we kept trucking until we eventually stumbled upon a station. And what was conveniently sitting there calling our names? You guessed it, the pirate ship. We rode it straight to our destination. Everything was perfect. The wind, the discussions, and just the overall vibe. We asked some strangers to take a photo of us, and that's what led to our eventual signature channel banner and our homepage and videos. It was an unforgettable experience, to say the least. Fast forward a bit, and we found ourselves in the airport for a pretty egregious amount of time. To pass that time, we ended up watching a couple episodes of One Piece. And well, it took a long time to actually get things going. While I found parts intriguing, I was by no means invested at that point. A few years of casual watches here and there went by before things really picked up. I know that my favorite part about reaction videos is that shared experience as someone watches an epic moment, a hilarious sequence, or a gut-wrenching scene. As Scryman reacts, we think it'll be adding an additional layer watching me react to his reaction as you guys react to it all. Total and utter reaction. We came upon the channel name by mixing our personal names. The will part, I don't fully understand yet. But you will. And then the scrying orb represents everything this channel was founded upon. Introspection, visions for the future, and facilitating the overall experience and the reaction. That'll be me up in scrying orbs on our react as an FYI. So that leads us here. We've been holding strong on the content until we could get everything ready, but I am stoked to jump back in. And the timing is perfect, I think. We're just arriving at Drum Island, the island of best of snow. Perfect in time for Christmas season, I'm told. It sure is, Scryerman. But that leads us to our number one rule of the whole channel absolutely no spoilers i'll be moderating the comments and sharing the fun ones with Scryman as we go but we please ask to be careful on any community related events or discussions it's a very long ways away but i also personally don't read the manga so it is imperative that we follow this rule to the end but with all that being said that is our only rule and we are so looking forward to starting this off most importantly, we're excited to get back to watching more One Piece. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow our adventure. We'll see you on Drum Island.